right, here we go, guys. Paul Campanero back, Real Sales Talk people, for one of my favorite topics, repeat, approve, move. This is the RAM method, repeat, approve, move, that acronym, R-A-M, and uh, repeat, approve, move really is a foundational piece to your conversation, to your sales talk, okay? You get a lot of resistance. Would you like to get less resistance? Would you like to move more confidently and more comfortably through that reflexive resistance that you're getting on the phone call. I was wondering who you know might know thinking about moving. Nobody. I mean, to say nobody, even before you're done with the sentence, why is that? Because you're stranger, your salesperson, they don't know you. And salespeople already have a, a negative stereotype for, uh, for, for who they are. Mom said uh, stranger danger. So you got double whammy here working against you and and yet I still need to ask good questions and to ask them well so I can find out if you're somebody I can help or not. So repeat, approve, move, the RAM method, if you incorporate this into all of your sales talk, uh, whether you're using it uh, prospecting, presenting, or negotiating, uh, or communicating even with your own client, this one tool can move you through that resistance so that you can uh, more effectively communicate and influence Hence, make more money faster. Okay, so let's jump in. Repeat, approve, move. Uh, repeating and approving and moving is a technique where the first letter, R, repeat, is focusing on uh, you saying what they said. Okay, making sure that they understand that you heard them. Man, we don't even get that in our own relationships, making sure that people understand, I hear you. Okay, so whether it's verbatim or it's paraphrased, repeating is paramount to making sure, hey, I hear you, okay? Now, approve uh, is good, great, fantastic, wonderful. I'm on the same side as you, but look, is it always good, great, fantastic, wonderful? I don't think so, right? It could be an acknowledgement, so repeat approve, approve or acknowledge, okay? Uh, I respect that, I understand you. I might feel the same way if I were you. You may not agree with them, but, but look, I'll, I'll at least acknowledge the fact that you feel what you're feeling because the matter of the fact is I may actually felt the same way if I were you, if I didn't have that information, if I've never been through the process before, I still might have some of those anxieties or fears or doubts. So approval and acknowledgement is a, a big part of, of understanding you. I, I respect you. I'm on the same side as you may not necessarily be completely agreeing with you, but I'm on the same side as you. So repeating was, I hear you. Approval or acknowledgement is, I'm on the same side as you. I understand you. I respect you. Uh, and uh, a little bit of a bunny trail here, a little uh, approval and acknowledgement, that, that, that really is the secret sauce. I mean, if you can do that at a high level, okay? So it might sound something like this. Well, look, Paul, um, we're already going, we already have another agent. Oh, you already have another agent, great. Oh, that, see, hear, hear that? Or, or you already have another agent. Great. Well, that grates the approval, but a higher level approvals uh, go deeper, right? They get, they jump further into and go deeper into either the logical or, or the emotional part of approving or acknowledging. So it sounds something like this. Uh, listen, Paul, we already have a, we already have somebody that we consider working with. Oh, you already have somebody you consider working with. Well, look, I can appreciate how important it is to trust somebody these days. So, and then moving. Now, the M, the move in the RAM method, R-A-M, okay, the M is, is moving, moving on into the conversation, controlling the conversation, dictating the conversation with a good question. That's right, a good question, not your opinion, not what you think, not what you feel, a good question rooted in what they think, what they feel, so that you can take control of the conversation. So. Repeat, approve, move. But uh, look, if I've internalized script, scripts, if I've role played well, then I can really repeat and approve uh, and move better and listen to what, what's the next best question to ask. Is it one of these questions that I have on my script? Typically not. It may be, be a better question based on what they just said. I'm making sure to ask a good question, moving into uh, asking one or two little sidetrack questions based on what they said so that they understand that I'm listening to them. They understand that I care and then I can rinse, repeat, repeat, approve, move again. 
look, how well are you doing this? Because if it's prospecting and you're getting that reflexive resistance, then um, uh, uh, that's what repeat and approve move is for. It's to, it's, to, it's to shed initial resistance or objections so that you can move through and, and find out uh, if you can get an appointment or not. Uh, now look, if it's a real objection, you're going to have to deal with it at some point, and that's objection handling. That's something a little bit different. But that repeat and approve move is to, is to shed initial uh, resistance and objections and move through the conversations to find out, is this really an objection or is it a condition? You know, a condition is something I can't do anything about. An objection is just a, a doubt, insecurity, or fear, a question in the mind of the prospect or the person. So um, I may be able to use repeat and approve and move in the negotiation process with the other agent. Listen, my client's not going to do. My client's not going to do that. Well, listen, your client's not going to do that. I can appreciate that. And look, well, um, would it be a benefit to at least ask that client if they'd be willing to do that move into whatever? Okay. Uh, or how about negotiating with your own client, Paul? We don't want to pay that price, Mr. Seller. You don't want to pay that price. Look, look. I, I completely understand that. You want a good deal. I know how important it is to make sure that you get the best deal possible. And then moving on to the next best question. Man, repeating and approving. Uh, this is a powerful tool for you to be able to use in your business, in your life. Because the power of communication, man, it's directly in proportion to the quality of your life and to your business. Repeat, approve, move. Grab it. Take a hold of it practice it use it today love to hear your thoughts on what's done for your business repeat approve move real sales talk guys make it a great day open up the chip